In this video, we will see about the data viz enhancements like new area viz, sorting enhancements, improved progress bar, and export improvements. Let's create a project to see these improvements. I'm going to add sample order lines data set to this project. And let's select order priority, profit, and pick the newly added area viz to this project. You can see the area chart on the canvas and let's add customer segment as color and you can see different colors as layers in the area chart overlaid on each other. As you hover over the chart you can see the tooltip and also the colored area is highlighted. Now let's take a look at the Viz properties. In the Viz properties you can see an option to change the line type to curved, stepped, etc. You can also show or hide the points on the chart. You can adjust the transparency level of the area chart. Now let's change the width to bar chart to see the sorting enhancements. You can see the sort menu categorized with attributes and measures used in the width. Let's sort order priority from Z to A and then the customer segment. You can notice that the sort order of order priority is retained even after sorting the other attribute. However, when you sort a measure, it takes the priority over the other columns. Now let's add sales as size and gross unit price in the tooltip. You can notice that you can actually sort with the columns that are added in size, tooltip, detail, etc. which are less visible in the WIS. When there are multiple columns in the same edge, for example in color, you can sort by those columns as well. There are options to clear the sorts and deselect the column sort by none. In table and pivot with multi-sorting options are possible from the options available right in the header. Now let's open a project to see the other enhancements. You can see the new progress bar on Viz loading and data loading. When you export the canvas as PPT, PDF or image, the aspect ratio of the canvas is respected over the selected page size and orientation. When you open the exported file, you will notice that the image in the file looks similar to how the canvas looks. You can notice that the tabs, data, visualization and analytics are moved to top of the site panel. Also, there is a dedicated search box below the icons. Let me select few columns and pick a visualization. When you close the site panel, you can see the canvas occupying the entire screen space. Now let's see the filter improvements. Let's add product name as filter and add few items to the filter. Now you can drag the canvas filter to this filter and this filter to canvas. Also you can drag the canvas filter directly over the filter icon on the vis itself. You can see various options available in filter properties to manage the user's filter functionality. Thanks for watching the video.